Learning Unit 5. In this learning unit you will practice partial differentiation and the chain rule for partial differentiation. So first of all to compute the partial derivative of a function f of x y with respect to x we pretend y is a constant and differentiate as though f is a function of x alone. We call the answer df by dx using this curly d. For example, if f of x y is x squared y squared, then at df dx is 2x y squared, because we've differentiated as though y squared is a constant number. And if f of x y is x sine x squared y squared, then using the product rule for differentiation, the partial derivative of f with respect to x is the derivative of x, which is 1, times sine x squared y squared, plus x times the derivative with respect to x of sine x squared y squared, which is 2xy squared cos x squared y squared, which when you put together is sine x squared y squared plus 2x squared y squared cos x squared y squared. Here are some for you to calculate where the answers are given in the yellow panels. Now to compute higher order partial derivatives, for instance the partial dm plus n of f by dx to the m dy to the n, first differentiate m times with respect to x and then n times with respect to y. For example, if f of x y is x squared y squared, then d3f dx dy squared is d2 by dy squared of df dx which is d2 by dy squared of 2xy squared which is d by dy of 4xy which is just 4x. You'll need to go through this carefully yourself. Here are some for you to verify. Now the chain rule for partial differentiation is if we have a function of two variables, f is f of x and y, and x and y vary along a path in the xy plane parameterized by a parameter t, then f varies with t via the chain rule. d by dt of f of x and t, y of t, is df dx dx dt plus df dy dy dt, where we have to evaluate df dx and df dy at x of t and y of t. So the final answer should all be in terms of t. For example, if f of xy is sine xy squared and x and y vary with the parameter t, x of t is t cubed and y of t is 1 over t, then df dx is y squared cos xy squared which when we put x is t cubed and y is 1 over t comes out to 1 over t squared cos t df dy is 2xy cos xy squared which if we put x is t cubed and y is 1 over t we get 2t squared cos t dx dt is 3t squared and dy dt is minus 1 over t squared so df dt is df dx dx dt df plus df dy dy dt which is substituting in from the first panel 1 over t squared cos t times 3t squared plus 2t squared cos t times minus 1 over t squared which equals cos t. Here are two for you to try. So in this learning unit you have practiced partial differentiation and the chain rule for partial differentiation.